Good morning. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm back. Lucky you, you don't get to look at my face this time. You can watch me make some mess and some pretty things and have a bit of an experiment. Good morning, Kayleen. How are you this morning? Oh, I should have done this off camera. I'm going to take some lids off here. All right, chat amongst yourselves. Morning, Joanne, how are you? All right, I'm just gonna give it a couple of minutes while I open some of these. Um, Good morning, Suzanne. Uh, open some of these bottles and get them all ready. A couple of my lids are super gross and sticky, so I like to make sure that they are opened before we start. Because um, I'm lazy and I don't do them up properly when I finish with them, so. That's the only reason they're gross and sticky. So this morning, I th um, I had an idea a couple of weeks ago, and I've got no idea if it's going to work. So um, hence the the title of my little advert, which was alcohol inks plus stencils plus embossing powder. Uh, sorry, embossing folders. So I thought I would have a bit of a play this morning, and just muck around and try some new things and. Um, do it all in front of you guys. So the daily deal, the special of the day are alcohol inks. So alcohol inks, I've got a, a nice little range online. Although I have noticed that most of you have been busy shopping this morning. Um, the orders have been coming in thick and fast. So I was most impressed by your uh, commitment to the purchase this morning. But what I'm going to do is um, explain to you about the alcohol inks and, and how they work and, and just play. I'm not going to go super fancy and complicated because there's no point doing that. Um, you want to be able to see some techniques and some ideas that you can actually replicate at home instead of things that are a little bit unachievable, I guess. Um, I think that that's really, really important when doing a demonstration of something. So what I, what the plan is for today is to just show you how easy it is to make a card front, to make some um, embellishments and bits and pieces. So um, these are some backgrounds that I created on previous live Facebooks and some cards that I have made before. So I'm just going to bring those up to camera so that you can have a bit of a look and see how pretty they are. But I'm going to show you how to make these backgrounds today and show you that they are very easy and, and achievable to do and super effective, like without having to try too much and without having to put too much energy and effort into it. Um, what else have I got here? I love that one. That's using the uniquely creative die cut over the top of that. So super pretty. And this one here is the using the glitter alcohol inks, which will be in hopefully next week. Unfortunately, the order hadn't arrived in time, but I may do a little spot special coming up when the new ones come in. So you're going to have to find out when uh, keeping... Keep online and keep watching out for the specials. But you can see how beautiful that glitter is, that beautiful shimmer. Um, and what else have I got here? Oh, just some that I've doodled over the top of. Um, so they dry up looking pretty, pretty bloody amazing. So first thing I want to do this morning is um, I want to play with a stencil and some alcohol ink. To start with I did this previously and this is the result um, can you see how cool that looks because 
very awesome. So stencils and alcohol ink is something that, you know, you wouldn't normally play with. So let me show you how I have, how, how to do that. So with alcohol ink, you do need to work on Yupo paper. Yupo paper is a synthetic paper. It's almost like a plastic. Yupo paper is the pretty much one of the only surfaces that you can use for alcohol inks. If we were to do this on just like a normal cardstock, it's going to soak into the paper and the alcohol is not going to move around on it at all. So I've got a piece here that I have cut up into six by four and I have got the Cabbage Rose stencil from Stencil Girl. So I'm just gonna place that down on top. What I'm now going to do is just get the color on. So I'm going to, I've started with that. Um, I've got a range of different brands here of uh, alcohol inks. Um, I've been, I think most of us who have got alcohol inks have been playing with alcohol inks for a while and have built up a bit of a collection. So I've got a range of Ranger and uh, also, um, what is that brand? Paper Mill, which is the Raya Art and Craft. The ones I have available uh, in my online store at the moment are, I forgot to get gloves, um, are the Couture Creations ones. So just let me get a glove, guys. Hang on a sec. Um, I just want to get a rubber glove because I want to get my fingers into this and smush it around a bit. And, of course, now I can't get the glove on. There we go. And now I'm going to put this aside to dry because what needs to happen is it needs to get into all of those little grooves, all right? So I'm just going to pop that aside to dry and I can't lift it off my mat, but I'm just going to use my knife and pop it right next to me. And you watch me put my elbow in that later. Um, okay, so you know what? Let's commit to the rubber gloves today, which is very unlike me, I have to say. Um, but let's get it done. So I have uh, the idea that I had a couple of days ago was to to use embossing folders. Remember embossing folders? I don't think any of us have used embossing folders in a really, really long time. Um, but use embossing folders to create some patterns. So I pre-embossed a heap this morning of uh, of the Yupo paper, um, and I'll have a bit of a play with that. Um, but this is the blending solution. So I've just got some plain here, not no embossing on it at all, and I'm just going to do a little bit of a squirt just to show you some cool techniques, first of all, and show you how the ink moves around before I play with the embossing folder. So... That is a colour called Amber. Ha! Good morning, Elizabeth. Um, and I'm just going to squirt some colours on like so. The thing that you can also do, you can get an ink blowing tool. There's a couple available. Or there's one available online. This one is an old Tim Holtz one that I've had forever and ever. And you can just let that colour move just like that and let that sit. Um, I don't want to add anything else to it. Now I can't lift it off the mat because I've got the gloves on. So I'm just going to let that sit and dry and see how amazing that's going to come up. So pretty. Um, let's do another one. All right, so I've got... I, I like to put the blending solution down first. I find that it plants a nice little base and I just kind of squirt it on. You don't use very much, but it does look kind of cool. The colour that I've got here is called Celestial and I'll use also... Mermaid. So Celestial is a pearl. Um, so I'm going to put that on second and put the Mermaid on first. Oh, look at that. Um, Celestial, you need to give a good shake because here's the pearl sitting in the bottom. And I'm just popping that around a little 
on the page. So I can let that sit like that, which does look pretty cool. But I have my heat tool here and I'm going to dry it with my heat tool and push it around to create beautiful little puddles. So you don't want to heat it too much because like I mentioned before, the paper is synthetic. So if it's synthetic, that means that it is actually going to probably melt the paper if you put too much love on it. But that looks nice. All right, so I'm just gonna let that, I've just taken the big puddle out of that one. Um, all right, so knocked everything over on my desk at the same time. Let's get into, I'll make a couple more simple backgrounds and then I will have a bit of a play. Now, if I don't use the blending solution, what happens? So that is geranium and I'm going to also add coral on the side and then I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and see what happens. So you can see that it's not moving around as much without the blending solution. I can still puff it around a bit. Or I could move it around with my heat tool, but it does move quite nicely. And if you don't have one of these puffy things, which are quite inexpensive, but if you didn't have a puffy thing, you could, or ink blower tool, you could just use a straw. Um, the colors are a lot more intense without the blending solution. If I use my heat tool, it moves it around. But what I love about the heat tool is it dries the ink quicker and leaves some beautiful drying lines. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So now that I have dried that into puddles, the drying lines are these bits here. And those, um, I don't know, what are they? They're like, I don't know what they're called, but they just look like beautiful layers of colour. I just think they're stunning. So there we go. We're going to pop that aside. All right, so let's talk about the embossing folders. Um, I've got a few available online uh, in my store, but you guys... Surely everybody who has got a die cutting machine has got an embossing folder. So an embossing folder is something that looks like this. They're the folders that open up and um, create a beautiful pattern on your paper. So I've got a, a massive stash of these. Um, sorry, guys, I'm just going to turn that down. Um, I've got a massive stash of these in my personal collection. I've also just put some in my pre-loved section online too. So if you want a secondhand inexpensive embossing folder, jump online and grab those. But the 3D ones from Sizzix are really, really nice. There's a couple left of these in store. Um, so I, I have pre-embossed some papers. Oh, look, that's a brick wall. I don't even know what brand that is. I think I've had that for like a million years. Uh, craft Concepts, I've got that one. I think I did some Cogs. That's a Sizzix one with Cogs. Anyway, so you get the picture. Everybody's got these in their stash. Um, and you can find them around the interwebs in uh, because they've kind of gone out of fashion. You can find them around the place in, you know, secondhand groups. But that's what it looks like when it's embossed. I don't know if you can see that. That's on both sides. But I just thought I would see what would happen if I added alcohol inks to these. Um, and I genuinely have not tried this until now. So how bad can it go, guys? I was kind of hoping that the ink will catch and, and create a really lovely pattern. So I'm just popping... Oh, and it has... I'm just popping some blending solution on it first. And I'm just going to squirt a couple of little colours on just to see what happens. Hit it with the heat tool. And it's the colours just grabbed in those little grooves. And yeah, baby, I like that. Um, I have got some isopropyl alcohol here. This is just from Bunnings. Um, and I'm just going to give it a 
a spray to loosen it up a bit more, spread it around a bit more. Oh, I really like that. Okay, so I had never done this until now. <laughs> so there was every chance that this was going to fail. But this is how we learn, isn't it? So you just, just got to try something new and if it works, it works. You've found something amazing. If not, you know not to do it again. All right, so there's one done. Let's try another one. So I also used, so this was the brick wall. This one didn't, <laughs> morning Chrissy. Um, this one didn't emboss as deep as I would have liked, but let's give it a whirl. Um, okay, what is, you, Chris, um, Elizabeth, this white surface that I'm working on here is just my, um, my Ranger, oh, it's not Ranger. I don't even know what brand it is. Somebody else asked me last night and I don't actually know what brand it is. I've had it for a really, really long time. It is just a heat proof mat. I do have them online. Whoops. I do have them available online um, in the brown, but the white one, because I have been crafting for ever and ever and ever and freaking ever, um, I've been, yeah, collecting craft materials since the Middle Ages. Um, I don't recall where I got this background from. Um, sorry, not very helpful on there. All right, so the brick wall. The brick wall, I decided first of all to just spray with isopropyl alcohol and not use blending solution. That didn't work like I wanted it to. So I'm just going to build on colour and just keep playing with it till I get something that I like. Um, yeah, look, I don't, and this is the problem that I have when I do all these, um, do lives. I really have to use what is available in store or I get caught out. But the um, building up craft supplies, you know, something, because I worked in a scrapbooking store here in Adelaide for years and years, naturally I've, I've accumulated some goods one might say all right so that's actually worked up quite well so again oh good morning Gabby look Gabby I'm wearing nails sorry girls Gabby who has just tuned in is my nail lady I'm not wearing nails I'm wearing gloves um and I'm absolutely loving my nails but you know because it's the little things because we're creative people um okay so there we go so there's that that one there and you can see that it is it hasn't worked as well as i would like it to but you know what i've committed to it anyway all right so the next one so this one is a little leafy one you can kind of see the leaf pattern on that so i have got i'm going to put some um blending solution down first and now I'm going to pop some green on so everything is just trial and error it is completely up to you how you make this work for you um, you can see that I cut my you I cut my um, Yupo paper down into small pieces that way I'm not wasting the paper because it's not cheap it's not it's not cheap to buy so we are frugal people us crafters you know we save every single bit of paper just in case we need it one day but i think if you are smart about it you have got these pieces that you can turn into cards you've got these pieces that you can turn into usable tools in your craft selection in your craft selection in your craft um repertoire you can make cards out of them you can do so many things you're only limited by your imagination now I've just given it that a light spray with the isopropyl alcohol just to spread that color around and that's working quite nicely so now it's created all of these really lovely visible layers in underneath so I'll bring that up to camera For you to see and pop that aside oops and accidentally flip it over okay um what else have i got 
Here's another one. This is like a bit of a Christmassy folder. And this has got berries and leaves and bits and pieces on it. So let's just go in with some geranium. Now, I have not put down any blending solution first. Oh, did you like that? I thought about swearing, but I didn't. Bugger. All right. And now I'm going to move this around. So I want this one to be a lot more vibrant and I'm going to build up some layers of pink. So you can see the way that I'm moving my heat tool. The heat tool is pushing the ink around. Um, where is that lighter pink? Here we go, coral. I tell you what, I really wanted to open up a whole heap of new colours today for this. But I resisted. I left them all online for you guys. So I'm going to come in here and add some blending solution on some of my corners to move it around a bit. Because what's happened is I didn't go all the way into here and I need it to blend in a bit. So to do that, I'm just moving it around and it's gonna create those lovely puddles and catch in the embossed paper. Hitting it with the heat gun to blow it around again. And it doesn't look too much like someone's bled out on it. By mixing up all the colors together, it looks quite nice and that can be the problem with reds is making it look making it you know not look like a bloodbath for lack of a better term on a Sunday morning beautiful all right pop that aside I need to clean this mess up before I do the next one so just the straight alcohol isopropyl alcohol and Oh, whew, that's got some fragrance. I reckon if I did this yesterday morning, it might have put me right back over the limit. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Karen? Hubby stuck his head in and said, this is Nat who tells me to buy all the things. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, honey, how you going? <laughs> um, no, I don't tell you to buy all the things, but I highly recommend it. No, not really. Okay, let's go for cogs. So what have I got here? I've got a lot of, all right, I've got one here called Smolder. So Smolder is um, like a really light color. It's like a, oh, I don't know, let me show you. I have to give it a good shake because it is a pearl. And I want to add the blending solution to the background first and I'm just going to do this in one color and I'm going to move that around with the heat tool you know the you know the um, you know the saying happy wife happy life that's how it works in our house and actually, I think it's how it works in a lot of houses. But, you know, we do things. We do the things to make us happy. If you're worried about spending the money and you're worried about, um, you know, do you need it, do you not? If you have to think about it too much, then you obviously don't need it. Don't buy it. Um, if I show you how to use some of the things that you've already, already got at home, fantastic. Um, if I show you some new tips and tricks that you have to have, that's your call. <laughs> Um, I've worked in a scrapbooking store here in Adelaide for about 13 years prior to that closing down. I know exactly what most of you have got at home. Um, so yeah, I know that, I, I, I know as long as you use the things, it's completely up to you how you choose to, you know, buy all the things. Oh, good morning, Jessica May. I can see you're watching. Nice to see that you are probably out of bed. Um, oh, good morning, Su uh, Susie's husband. Um, 
That looks really nice. That's just one color and that's the pearl. So the pearl has caught in and around the cogs and it's puddled up really, really well. Um, Delphine has just asked me to do one of the 3D embossing folders. Well, guess what, Del? That's what I'm up to next. So the 3D embossing folders are the ones that just go that little bit deeper. Been up for a while, actually. Jessica, no need to be a smarty pants, darling. All right, so for those of you who have just tuned in, I have got Yupo paper, which is the synthetic paper, and I have um, used embossing folders to emboss them. It is something that I have never tried up until today. I just thought that I would wing it and see how bad it goes online. Alcohol inks are 15% off for today only. Uh, and I am waiting for a delivery to come in. There is a new range of embossing, uh, sorry, alcohol inks available next week. And I think they're going to be next week. There's some alloys and I'll be doing a top up of colors. So keep an eye out for those. So I have just put down a layer of blending solution and now I'm going to be quite generous in getting some color on. And I'm just going to pick it up and move it around. I'm not gonna hit this one with the heat tool or the blower. I'm just going to let gravity do its thing. Bit like my face this morning, if anybody saw my live Facebook. <laughs> um, I know, right, I'm so funny. Uh, okay, so that is pulling in and puddling in beautifully. And that is where the embossing ink, those colors that I just used were, I've got no idea, but I know one of them was eggplant, one of them was mermaid, and the lid is also off of aquamarine. So I suspect they're the three colors that I used. Um, now, one thing that I wasn't gonna show you today because I do not have them in stock is the glitter alcohol inks that have become available. Now, I am out of stock, but I have got a shipment due in soon. Do you want me to show you what the glitter ones look like? Um, give me a yes or a no on that. What do you think, guys? Drink break while you are, you know, there's a 20 second delay on doing this, of course. Yes, okay. So the, there's at least two yeses, so we'll go with that. Um, the glitter, uh, the glitter alcohol inks um, are really lovely. So these were also on special last month. And um, like I said, I am doing another order of them. So when they dry, that is what you see with this one. So can you see that shimmer that sits on top? Yeah, I know, pretty. So... I have got here a couple of colors in my stash. So I've, I hate purple with a passion, but, and don't forget ladies, please don't look for them online because I am out of stock, but they are on their way in. So this is amethyst and graphite. So I'm still going to put a, a base down of the other colors first and then add in some more colors. So the Yupo paper has been embossed with a 3D embossing folder. And now I'm going to, yeah, purple's not my color at all. So I know there's a lot of purple people out there, but it's just not my jam, hey? Um, okay, mermaid, bam. I don't know, this is another one here, another light blue. And this paper has actually um, bowed a bit. It's a bit curly, so it's running. But the purple does look pretty with this. And I still have to move this around. Wow, that's an awful lot of purple. What am I thinking? All right, let's commit to it. I'm gonna use the heat gun to move it around. So it has super fine glitter in the alcohol ink. Oh, you know what? I like it.
and you can see the heat tool moving the ink around that is what you need to be doing if i was to go straight on top it doesn't do anything for the any for the paper it will melt the paper but because i'm moving it around it will work quite nicely um and give me a second i just want to fill in a couple of gaps here because you know that's what we do and then I will show you how that has dried up with the uh, glitter ones. So the glitter ones are on the way in. I am doing another order of those very, very soon. And if you're lucky, I'll probably do a special when they come in. And I might even jump online and do another live Facebook, depending on how things go. All right. So the other trick is what makes this work is the colors that I put together. If I was to put that with orange, orange and blue make brown. Again, as I bang on about it all the time, colors that are opposite on the color wheel are going to make mud. So therefore, if I choose colors that are next to each other, it's always going to make something that is visually pleasing. Okay. Um, do the alcohol inks go a long way? Yes, 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 yes. I do get a lot of use out of them, Chrissy. Um, in fact, most of these ones I have had open. Let me show you this bottle here. I have probably had this bottle for four years, five years, if not longer than that. And it's got, I know I can't, if I tip it sideways, it's just going to go bad. It's got that much left in it. So it... It really, really does go a long way. Um, all right, let's just keep playing, hey, since I'm having such fun here. Let's go with one of the other brands. And I'm going to put that with Amber. And I'm going to... Oh, look. Oh, sorry head on thing. I've got a fuchsia glitter one just to show you how pretty that is as well. Um, yeah, look, I've got gold as well here and um, the gold is super powerful. So the gold is another one that I'm out of stock on at the moment. So please don't look for that online. Um, oh, look at that. So People quite often comment and say, oh, I've never used them or Kayleen just said that she's got a mixative that she's never used. So if you don't know how to use it, just do this. You can see that I took like I full full transparency. I had a I had no idea if the embossing folder thing was gonna work today. Absolutely no idea at all if it was gonna work. But if you don't try it and you don't, you just won't know. So you've got to jump in and give it a go. Um, having stuff in your stash, it's, it's money thrown away if you're not actually using it. So um, you really do need to do that. So um, this is a wood grain one that didn't in, emboss very well um, with the embossing paper so that's got a generous squirt of blending solution on it and I'm going to spread that out because this time I think I want to drip it down so to do that I need something to catch it on I have got here a, another piece of Yupo paper underneath it and this Yupo paper is one that I have bought from a cheap shop and it is a transparent Yupo paper so this time I've got my alcohol ink on an angle and I'm just going to let it bleed down and see what happens. So I've got a yellow. Oh. Okay, so this is looking, looking pretty freaking spectacular to the point where I nearly swore a big word. You know what would have been good if this if I had a brown. I don't have a brown. I have a gold. Um, 
All right, let me just drip some gold down. Hang on. Yes, gold I'm out of stock of as well. I'm really, really sorry, but I'll have them in stock soon. All right, so gold sits on top. So I need to get the gold flowing a bit better. So I'm going to also put some more color back over the top to get the flow happening. Now it looks like a squid. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 we're there. That's working. All right, I'm going to put that aside because I think if I touch it, I'm going to mess it up. Um, and I'm running out of room over here. Hang on. Oh. Okay, put it down, Natalie. Put it down. Okay, so... I've got this transparent Nupo paper here and I've just started making a mess on it. So I might as well commit to that. Um, choose a colour. Um, morning, Sharon. Oh, thanks for the love, darling. Just don't show them the video I did earlier of the little bit of a tour of the studio this morning showing you some specials where you get my puffy face and bed hair. Still hadn't finished my first cup of coffee. Don't show your friends that, darling. Nobody needs to see that at this hour of the day. All right. So this was just my little drop sheet. So there's plenty of things, but it's just all trial and error. You've just got to give it a go yourself. You can't just hoard all of these supplies for your kids to throw in a mini skip when you're dead. Guys, sorry, reality check. There it is. Use it now before they throw it out. Saving it for a rainy day. Guess what, guys? It's raining. Freaking use it. Make me a card. Send it to me. You've all got my address. All right? Words of wisdom for Sunday morning, okay? So I'm squirting that on, but it's just sitting there, so I need to move it around. So I need to move it around with the... Blending solution. Look, everyone's gone quiet on that little freaking lecture I just gave. No one's got anything to say. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, use the things that you've got. We get so worried about being frugal and saving it for a rainy day, but that's not how I work at all. That's why we buy the pretty things, isn't it? Don't save that beautiful piece of paper because it's too pretty to cut up. What did you buy it for in the first place? All right, so just remember when you're using a heat tool with your um, Yupo paper, don't melt it. All right. So the gold does look nice as well. Okay, so I, oh no, I've got one more piece here. You guys are still watching. I'll just keep playing then, I guess. Um, what sort of colours? Let's go with, let's go back to my standard combination that I love, 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 which is the blues. And I'm going to do this again with no, no blending solution, straight colour. But you've got to have your lids off. You've got to be prepared. You got to get in there and you got to commit to it straight away and then I'm going to move it with the heat tool to show you. Because the blending solution is going to tone it down a bit. Oh, I've got a gap. Hang on, how do I fix the gap? I get another colour and go like that. There we go. Leanne Priest, I see you and I know you are the biggest saver, but seriously, don't save it. Oh, my bloody watch is talking to me. Hang on, sorry guys. Shh, Siri, be quiet. Um, okay, but yeah, don't save it for a rainy day, guys. It's raining. Hello, we just had the apocalypse just is going through Australia at the moment. Is that not close enough to rain for you guys? Use the things. Make your friends gifts. Make your friends cards. 
Send them something to make them smile in the post. Remember the post? I know it's the slowest thing in Australia at the moment. But the whole idea is we make things most of the time to make other people happy. So I'm just cleaning off my surface with some isopropyl alcohol. So send your friends a card. Send your friends something to make them smile. Send me something to make me smile. I have got a shelf in my studio with a pile of cards and off the page projects and mini books and canvases that my customers have given me over the years. And it sits pride of place. So please use the things that you have bought. All right, enough waffling on. The very first thing that I did was get a stencil, the Yupo paper. Oh, my hands are sweating, hang on. The Yupo paper, the stencil, and just sprinkled the ink straight on the top. So what I want to do now is that's dried and I want to peel it off. That floats my boat, babe. Look at that. So nice. Okay. I've also got this going on here, which is a dirty stencil. What can I do with that? I don't know. Hang on. I've run out of paper. So here's the back of something else that'll work. So I'm just going to off camera spray this to wet it with isopropyl alcohol. And now I'm going to drop it on there. Give it a minute and it's going to take the excess off the stencil. And put that aside. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the mess that I have made this morning. So we started out with, I think it was this one. And that's looking pretty nice. Um, instant card front. What do you do with it? You take a die and you do that. Um, I used one of the paper rose dies that I designed a couple of years ago and cut. I haven't, I almost finished doing it. Hang on. There you go. So this is one of the border ones that I, I designed a couple of years ago. These are still, um, you'll find those in the store under dies. Um, but look, you've got now an instant border and you can be, look, you can be a tight ass here and put a piece there and cut it in half and put a piece there because again, we're frugal. Um, what else did we do? Here is that pretty blue one with the pearl and you can see that that pearl has now dried up beautifully. So again, look at that, amazing. Um, man on horse, also amazing. Pop that guy aside. Um, uh, the super vibrant one with no blending fluid. I think this might be my favorite of the whole demo today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's my favorite. Like, look at that. I'm pretty certain that's my favorite. Um, and then I've got, you know, you could stick that behind there. Stick Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, Sorry Your Cat Died, whatever you like on there. Um, looks great. Okay, so let's find the ones that we, my experiment ones, and see how they've dried up. So this is the one with the honeycomb embossing folder. So that's looking pretty good. And then I gave it, you can see these little puddles on here. This is where I um, sprayed it with isopropyl alcohol and it's beaded on top there all right this one is a bit messier um, but it you can see the pattern that it started out with and then the greens and yellows have pulled in and around that so again not too shabby and it's got just the best texture behind it. 
Like, look at that. Let's get rid of that. That's better. Like, that's just freaking awesome. You know, have that moment when you impress yourself. That, that's my day. That's me. There we go. Okay, this is the cloud or smolder pearl embossing for um, embossing folder with the um, pearl ink on it. That looks pretty good. You can see the shimmer on that. Um, sorry guys, I can see that. Thanks, I finally had to play an embossed and inked panel. Okay, so Kayleen is playing along with us. Kayleen, I look forward to you posting your, um, your results, babe. Okay, here's the brick wall. That looking nice. So again, if I was to put my die cut over the top, it's not too shabby. Yeah, the smolder and the cogs does look pretty good, doesn't it? Um, okay, so there's that one. What else have we got? Um, here's the one that looks like someone bled out on it, but it's got the embossed leaves and berries. And then it has, I've, you know, created these lovely inks. Yeah, graffiti wall. That's exactly what it looked like. Um, again... Looking good. You know, there's your beautiful red red Australian sunset behind it. Okay. Does everyone have like a unused stash of embossing folders that they keep forgetting about? Or is it just me? Because I know I, I do. Um, if not, you'll find some in my pre-loved section on the website. Um... That one's got a little bit, I put a little bit of the glitter in that one as well. And you can see the little bit of a shimmer showing up there. Ah, uh, what else have we got? Okay. This is another one. This is the 3D embossing folder. So this one looks pretty nice. Yeah, use them. Use all of these things. I mean, even if you're an art journaler, this adds a couple of panels on your art journal page. It's going to look pretty good. Um, yeah, that works. Super nice. That's the one where I use the glitter purple. Um, the glitter purple that I don't like. All right. And this one is the 3D Sizzix embossing folder, one of the Tim Holtz ones. Um, gone all the way through. It's actually cut really, embossed really deep. But I love the way that it's, or the colour has grabbed and pulled in and around here. That that looks amazing. Love it. All right. And this one here, this last one I did. Um, I didn't know if this was going to work. This is the one that I tilted on an angle and let the colour drip down and then let the gold drip down. Yeah, I know, right? Um, pretty freaking awesome. I'm, I'll photograph all of these and put them up in a separate post as I normally do. Um, but that's just super pretty. And, oh, I forgot this one. So that's the one with, again, no, no blending solution, straight embossing sorry straight alcohol ink and then the heat gun to push it around to create those puddles all right and then those puddles and these pools are created by drying the heat gun and giving it some direction and what made it work beautifully what made, makes it look really great in my opinion is the fact that the colors are all from the same color family and last of all this beautiful little baby which is using a stencil, a, a stencil girl stencil. Um, and this is one that I had done earlier using a bigger stencil where it looks really cool. So if I pull this one off now, there you go. And that's just from the dirty stencil. So I have stamped with it, made an instant card front. So it's that easy. Um, 
I hope I didn't make all of these techniques look hard. That is not my intention. Um, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, I had no idea if today's techniques were going to work. I figured that if I was going to fail, I was going to fail in front of you guys um, because that is how we learn. We try new things, we experiment, and you waste absolutely nothing by trying something new. So the whole concept is to give it a go, to have a play, to try a new technique and see if it works. You have gained more by trying than you have by, um, by not trying. So this is one that's been done on the transparent UPO paper. Um, I do have a couple of sheets of it floating around in my stash. I bought it by mistake um, from a cheap shop and hey, it works. So that is it from me today. Thank you very, very much um, for watching. Uh, again, it's been another hour of me waffling on and I'm very, very grateful for that. So until the end of today, the alcohol inks are 15% off and you can take advantage of that by adding them to a previous order. So um, select no judgment at the checkout. Um, and I will add it to your previous order. Stay, I'm going to do an art journal page this afternoon. I'm feeling like I want to do something a bit painty and have a bit of fun with um, paint and stencils this afternoon. Other than that, I really don't know what, I haven't created much for myself lately and I figure it's time to, um, to do that. So, um, other than that, thank you very much again for tuning in. Um, nataliemay.com.au. Share the love around with your friends. There's still plenty of bargains on the website. And I am, like I mentioned, I will be jumping online and doing a another live this afternoon. And there will be a restock of alcohol inks in uh, hopefully in about 10 to 12 days time. I'm just waiting for the next order to become available. So um, thank you again, girls. And I look forward to catching up with you soon. Um, if you're sending me messages at the moment and I'm not replying, I genuinely apologize. I have been getting up at five every morning to try and respond to everybody's messages um, and emails. Um, if my messages are short and sweet, again, I do apologize. It's just a full on weekend. So I'm stretching myself around. Um, orders will be packed tomorrow and Tuesday and shipped. And if you have a order that needs to be picked up, please do not come over until you have been contacted by one of my friendly staff, otherwise known as Jessica or Louise, <laughs> because, um, your order won't be ready for collection until, um, we get to it, I guess. So thanks guys. Have a fabulous day. Stay tuned for some photos and, um, wash your hands, kiss your kids and go and get some vitamin D. Love you later.